G'day there, everyone. Daniel Anderson here. Now, what are you going to get out of, well, what I'm going to call a masterclass? Well, we are going to go through an end-to-end -end process on how to configure SharePoint document sets for, in this case, um, meetings. So we're going to create a container to store all of our uh, collateral and information about meetings uh, and uh, to keep everything in a single location and show you the power of SharePoint document sets to hopefully allow you to take these concepts and then implement them, maybe not in a meeting scenario, but in a different type of scenario for your content. So let's just dive in and get stuck into it. So I'm in a SharePoint, blank SharePoint team site. The first thing that we need to do is that we need to go in and actually enable this document set feature. So I'm going to go into site information. I'm gonna go into view all site settings. Now under the site collection uh, administration here, we need to go to site collection features. So we need to enable what we call the document set feature. So here's document sets, and I'm going to activate this feature. So that allows us to actually use document sets in this site. So you can see there, that is now active, okay? Now I'm gonna go back to the home page here and I'm gonna to go to our documents library. Now top right hand corner, I'm going to go to library settings. I'm gonna to go to more library settings and then what we can do is we can add a document set to um, this library. Now you can see that we can't add it. Now a document set is uh, an additional content type. Now we need to enable the ability for us to uh, to add additional content types to this library. So I'm going to go to advanced settings and I'm going to go to uh, allow management of content types. I'm gonna turn that to yes, and then I'm gonna click okay. So that allows us to add additional content types to this library. You can see that I've got a default of a document content type, and then I can add from existing site content types and I can also change the new order and the default content type. So if I go to add from existing site content type, I can see now that I've got a document set content types category and I can add a document set. Now, before we do that, we're gonna do this a little bit of a different way. So we are going to create a custom content type for our meetings. So to do that, I'm gonna go into site settings and I'm going to go to site content types. Now this takes me to the content type gallery that's part of this site collection that I'm on called SharePoint Document Sets. I'm going to create a content type, okay? Now I'm going to call this um, meetings, all right? So I'll call this, actually I'll call it meeting. So remembering when we go to a library and we go to the new button, we go new meeting instead of new meetings, all right? See the difference? Um, I'm going to create a new category and I'm going to call this uh, Copilot Content Types. Actually, let's call it Content Studio. No, let's call this Learn, Build, Grow Content Types. I'll just call this CT for short. Now, the parent, con uh, the parent category here is going to be the document set content type and the content type that we're going to inherit from is called document set. So I'll hit create. That gives us a default or a, a custom content type based on the out of the box SharePoint content type. Now I'm going to add a, a few additional columns to my content type here. So every time that I create a new meeting container or document set, I want to fill out some additional metadata. So I am going to say, create a new column. It's gonna be a new site column and I'm going to call this meeting category or meeting type, let's say. So we'll say meeting type and I've got a few, I'm gonna call and I'll create a new category. I'll call this uh, LBG uh, columns, all right? So we'll do that for our column category and I'm going to have a choice column here. So we'll choose choice. Now I'm going to say, I've got a few different meeting categories here. So I've got brainstorming, I've got project planning, I've got uh, let's go for a status update. We'll also go for, uh, let's go all hands, all right? So we'll go all hands meeting as well. So there are different meeting types. I'm going to save that. That adds that site column to this uh, document set content type. I'm also going to create a new site column for meeting date, all right? 
and then I'm going to choose that custom column uh, custom category that we just made and I'm going to this time I'm going to choose my uh, date and time and we will yes date and time we won't include time we won't include friendly format and we'll hit save all right now I'm going to choose I'm going to just create one more I'm going to say meeting uh, chair all right so this is going to be a person so who's chairing this meeting all right so I'm going to go category I'm going to choose my category that I've just created and I'm going to choose a person column Yes, I'm going to show profile photos, and now I'll hit save. So here is our um, our meeting document set created. All right, so now we can add that to our uh, our document library. But before we do that, I'm going to create to uh, create a another document content type here. All right, and we're going to keep this a little bit simple, simplistic, um, just as a building block here. I'm going to call this meeting document. All right, now I'm going to choose an existing category and I'm going to choose our content type category that we just created, but this time I'm going to choose a document because we're gonna upload documents here. So I'm going to click create. Now, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create a new site column and I'm gonna call this uh, meeting document type. Now you could do this a different way and have a different content type per document type as well. But in this instance, in this example, I'm just gonna use a choice column, all right? So I'm going to choose choice. Uh, the category I'm going to have in my existing category. Now the choice column, I'm going to choose um, minutes. This is for the document type. So it's a minutes document and here's the agenda, all right? So that's all we're going to do for this example. I'm gonna hit save, all right? So now I've got a document content type to go along with my meeting uh, document set content type. I'm just gonna jump back into my content type gallery now and I'm going to uh, filter by uh, category and I'm going to go learn, build, grow and I'm gonna save this view as, and I'm going to say, uh, learn, build, grow, okay? We'll hit save. Now, on this document set, I'm gonna to go to document set settings because what I wanna do is I want to allow the use, only allow the use of that custom content type inside of this uh, document set. So I'm going to add meeting document across to here and I'm going to remove the default document content type. Now we can see down here that I've got default content and I wanna choose the meeting document as our default document that gets used and uploaded into this, uh, this content type. Now you can also see that I've got shared columns. So these are the columns that are coming from the document set. I can share those with the documents inside of the container as well. All right, so just to give us an example, I'm going to set this to meeting type and I'm going to hit save. So now we've got our structure set up. I'm going to jump back to the, doc the document library here. Now the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove the default document content type because I don't wanna use that default. I wanna use our custom ones. So I'm going to go to library settings. I'm gonna to go to more library settings here. And I'm, all I'm gonna do under this document, under the content type here, is I'm going to remove and delete this content type. So now what we're going to do is going to add our custom content types, all right? So I'm going to go add from existing. I'm going to select our category and I'm going to choose meeting, all right? So I'll just add meeting for the moment and I'll click okay. And let's have a look and see what happens. So that document uh, document set is now being added. If I jump back to documents, you can see that from the new menu, I've got new meeting. Now you'll notice that I can create a folder here. Again, I wanna turn off the ability to create folders here because I want to try and create and develop a flat architecture. So in my advanced settings of our document library, what we can do is under one of these settings here, under folders, make the new folder command available. I wanna say no, okay? So I'm gonna select that and I'll click okay. Now that folder icon or the ability to create folders in this library is going to be gone. So now when I click on new meeting, I can uh, fill out my form and here's the metadata and the site columns that I had uh, let's just go meeting um, test. We've got our description, the meeting type. Let's call this a status update. 
The meeting date is, let's just say it's today. So we'll go today uh, and the meeting chair can be me. All right. And I'll hit save. That's now creating that document set for me. And I'm taken into that document set. You can see on the right hand side that I'll get the metadata and the properties of the document set. I'm just going to close that. Now, what you'll see here is even though that I haven't added that meeting document content type to my library, it's part of that document set. And I can create that document or upload a document into this document library now, and it's going to take on that content type. Now, if I go back to my documents and I click on new, you'll see that I can't create that document outside of a document set. All right, so that's really that's a really good feature. All right, so not uh, allowing an end user or obfuscating that from an end user to create a document out of the or in the root of this document library outside of a document set. So we can uh, now control where that's being created. So I can go new document and I've got meeting document type. Now. Let's up upload some documents. So I'm just going to drag a few documents across into this document set, just so that we can see that it inherits that, um, that content type, all right? So I've got a few different types of documents here. So they're PowerPoints, they're Word, they're Excel. Now, these have all been updated, okay? Now, let's have a look at our view. So what I want to do here, just to show us what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, let's choose our content type and we'll hit apply. So we can see that that content type has been set to meeting document. Now that's because it's the default. It's the only document content type that we've got. All right. Remembering that we removed our document content type there and added our custom one. Now, I'm going to go back to the root of my document library and let's add or let's change this view. So I'm going to just add the metadata to uh, to the view here. So I'm on the all documents view. Now I'm going to go show or hide columns. I don't want this and I don't want this. I don't really need that because we know it's a meeting. All right, because that's what we're what we're storing. Now I'm going to I'm going to turn on meeting type, meeting date, meeting chair. Uh, I'm not going to use meeting document type for the moment and I'll click OK. So now we've got our view of our document library. Now I'm just going to edit the view here and I'm going to show the profile pictures just to give it a little bit more uh, visual impact here. Now I've just noticed my dates are around the wrong way. So let's go into site uh, settings and I'm going to change my dates. So I'm just going to jump into regional settings and I'm going to change this to okay, Melbourne, Sydney and the to Australia. All right. So now I'm going to click OK. These dates will be now fixed for me and we'll be good to go. So I'm going to go to not to conversations. I'm going to go to documents. All right. So let's open up the document library. And now what we've got is there's our document set. There's our meeting uh, type. There's our meeting date and there's our meeting chair. Okay. Now, what about inside of a document set? If I go inside of that document set now, you can see that I've got these got these columns here, but I don't really want to, I want to have a different view of, um, of the documents or I don't want this metadata uh, in view of this document set. So we can create another view that is then used inside of our document set. So I am going to create a new view. I'm just going to call this just for this purpose inside document set. Okay. I'm going to click create. You can see that I'm, I've got this view now and I can create this view. Now I don't want this. So I'm going to go add, remove columns, show or hide columns. I don't want these. All right. So I'm going to click apply. So now that I've got my inside document set, I can Flick between the two, there's all documents. There's inside document set. Now, how do we change this? So how do we set that? So I'm going to go to library settings. I'm going to go to more library settings. Now, in the meeting, I'm going to hit uh, document set settings. Now, inside of our document set settings here, down the bottom, I've got my welcome page and I've got my welcome page view. So the view is going to be inside document set and I'll click okay, all right? 
So now that that's been done, what we can do is when I go back to my document set here, and I, I'm just gonna give this a bit of a refresh, and then I'm going to hit meeting test. Now inside of our document set, you can see that I get this view, but if I'm at the top level of this document set, I don't get that view, I get all documents. So when I click inside meeting, and then you can see that I've got inside meeting document set set as that view. All right, so having the ability to have different views outside at the document set level and then inside the document set there uh, is really, really powerful as well. All right, so there we go. Start to finish setting up a document set, uh, in this case, for a meeting to store our meeting uh, documents. Now, what we didn't see though, is let's have a look at adding our column that we want to have a look at our meeting document types. I'm gonna click apply. So you can see here, I'm just gonna set these document, um, the meeting document type. These ones can be minutes. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these two here to be agenda. All right, so now I'll hit save. Now what we'll do, I'm on my view inside document set. I am going to group these by type. And then I'm going to save this view as my inside document set view. I'm gonna go back to my document library. I'm going to click on my document set. Now inside of my document set, I've got a custom, an, an enhanced custom view. Again, top level document set, I've got all document view. And then inside of the document set, I've got my custom inside doc set view. So I hope that deep dive gives you some value there. You can take that, implement it in different ways inside of your organization. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.